Okay, so now that you have a visual map in video number five, we're gonna talk about adding the product details. So when it comes time to adding a product in the shopping cart system, there is a good amount of information that you are going to need. I'm gonna talk about the things that might be useful for you, the things you definitely need, and the things that are optional. Now, you must create a new product for every single front-end offer, every single one-time offer, basically every single product that you have, no matter if it is a front-end or a one-time offer. So all the information I'm gonna show you, you're gonna need all that information for every single product. So what I recommend that you do, if possible, is just to do a front-end offer and then do one one-time offer. Once you get the hang of this and once this actually makes sense to you, then you can go all out, add more one-time offers and more. But it will get overwhelming, I will say, if you do one front-end offer and several one-time offers. So with that said, let's go ahead and go over to JVZoo and I'll walk you through step by step. Okay, so what we're gonna do is add a product and to get to this page, what you need to do is up at the top under sellers, click on sellers dashboard and you're gonna see a big orange button to the right hand corner that says add a product. Click that and you'll be forwarded to this page. Now we're gonna walk you through step by step. I'm gonna to explain to you every step of the way. So allow sales means that you're going to allow sales immediately. And if you're working on the product and you're not ready to offer the product just yet, you can click no. Now you can show in the product library, which basically means that JVZoo has their own affiliate network and a product library. So if you want more exposure to your product, you can click yes. Now, the only time you would click no is usually if you had a private offer, you didn't really want anybody else to know about it. You just wanted to make it exclusive to your list or exclusive to somebody else's list, maybe to your affiliates and that's it. So you click no. Then you have your launch date and time, which is basically uh, when you're going to make your product uh, published and visible to everyone else. So as you can see, the product will not be visible in the product library until this time. So you can say, hey, I only want this to be available at a certain date. Then of course, you can enter the product name. So in this case, we're tackling this particular one here. And we can say front end offer, okay, it's a software. So software product name test. And internal product name, it's just something to allow you to know what that is. Nobody else is gonna see that. So we're gonna do tests, obviously put your own name. And then of course, currency, you can choose currency. There's US dollars, Australian dollars, euros, yens, and pound sterlings. And then of course we have product price. So we could say, uh, we refer back to this. So as you can see, this is where it comes in handy and you're gonna be able to see how this comes in handy. So $37 one-time fee. So I just do $37. Commission is affiliate commission. How much are you gonna pay out? So meaning when you have an affiliate program, you can do, let's say 50% commission. And if you have a subscription, you can say payment period is every one month with the total amounts of payments for 10 years. Now, the thing about JVZoo is back in the day when they started, it was only like three years. But if you have a monthly membership site, for example, that just goes on and on and on and on, then you're gonna want to do 10 years times the amount of months. So 10 times 12 is 120. So you can put 120 in here. Commission payout on first payment. How much are you gonna pay your affiliates on the first payment? We could do 50%. So you can offer a trial, you can say a dollar for seven days, and then you can say they get 50% of that. So in certain specs, in this case, this will be like $37 per month for 120 months. Now, if you only wanna do a one-time price, you're not going to enter any information here. So you can uncheck that. In, just have 50% of that and 37. 
Then of course you have quantity. If you're selling something that's like an intangible product, like a video course or anything like that, which is the majority of you or software or, or book or something, then you're going to want to leave this blank. Next, you have the support email address. So you want to have your name at, you know, your support desk dot com whatever that might be and then or you don't have to enter that and you can enter a support url now as we stated earlier in the previous video i wanted to talk about some help desk softwares that we highly recommend uh, there are a few out there and we've tested a few and but there's one that we've really liked so far and it's called fresh desk so if you head on over to freshdesk.com, that's freshdesk.com, it's actually very, very easy to use. And it's very robust and it has many different features and options in it. And if you go to the pricing here, honestly, I would start out with the Sprout one. And as you grow as a company, you can scale up and increase. But Freshdesk, we've used it for several years and we really really like it. So anyways, get an account there or get an account anywhere else. Add your support URL here. So your domain.com slash support, whatever that might be. Now I typically just enter this. I don't enter that because it's either that or that. Sometimes your support desk will give you an email that will go straight to here anyways, but that's just something to think about. So the next thing you have is landing page and sales funnel, squeeze page, and pre-launch page. So this page is here. This is a URL. So it's like http colon slash slash www.yourdomain.com slash your squeeze page or your pre-launch page. So this is good if you have a pre-launch first and then you have a launch. And then you can send all the traffic to the sales page after launch date and time. So you click yes and then the traffic would go straight here and this is going to be your sales page url so most likely it's going to be on your domain.com and then of course if you have a one-time offer this would be here too so going through here i'm speaking of this as a front end offer but if this were to be your one-time offer then this would be your domain.com slash, you know, OTO one or OTO two, OTO three, downsell one. You can pass the affiliate ID to the sales page if you want to customize it, but most of you are not going to use that. So this is for advanced users. Then you have delivery method. You can either have a protected download, which allows JVZoo to actually host your download file. Now, I would recommend, if possible, creating your own thank you page so that you can use that thank you page to sell other things on that page. Because when somebody buys something from you, you've already gained their trust and they've already bought from you and they're more likely to buy more from you. So having your own thank you page is better. So if you click thank you page here, you can pass parameters to the download page. That's something that's more advanced. So I'm going to leave that as is. We normally don't use this, but if you are an advanced user and you want to do that, that's fine. Now you have the return period. You can specify that the return period is 30 days or 60 days or weeks or months or years. Some people even do 365 days and do really well. You can also make your product eligible for the product of day. And if you check that, what that means is if your product sells really, really well and JVZoo happens to see you, they'll pick up your product and they'll sell it and they'll put it at the very top. So product of the days, if you scroll all the way to the top, they get this right here. And you can get tons and tons of sales and hundreds of sales by getting product of the day. And then of course you can specify, hey, I'm gonna give you, I'm willing to give up 75% or I'm willing to give up you know, 60% for JVZoo if they, put my product as a product of the day. So you can put that here. And then affiliate approval, as far as an affiliate program is, it's built in to the JVZoo system. So whatever product you set up, it will actually set up with your product. So you can manually approve people, you can auto approve people, or you can say, nope, I don't wanna have any affiliates at all right now. Now, 
If you do decide to do an affiliate program, I highly recommend that you do manual approval. If you do auto approve, then anybody can sell your product. Now, while that may sound like a good idea, we what we have done in the past is we have approved affiliates and you attract a lot of scammers. There are tons of scammers on JVZoo and meaning there are tons of people that go on JVZoo with the intent of being your affiliate, but they use somebody else's credit card or they use stolen credit cards to make sales. And then what happens is you pay them and then you find out like 60 or 90 days later that they stole somebody else's credit card and you're liable for all of that. So we've actually ran into that in the past where we've approved affiliates that we don't know and we've set them on automatic approval and they, they've paid, gotten paid instantly and then they turn around and you get all these PayPal disputes. So only do manual approval and only approve people that you know. If you don't know them, you can approve them, but set them on like a delayed payment process, which means they get paid like 30 days later or whenever you decide. You can learn this later, but if you go and approve somebody, you can see how many products they have sold and their refund rate. If their refund rate is low and they sold a lot, definitely you're, you're gonna wanna approve them. And there are some affiliates on JVZoo called premium affiliates. And even if you set manual approval, they can automatically sell your product. And it's because they've sold thousands and thousands and thousands of products on JVZoo. These are big, big, big accounts. So you definitely want them to promote your product. Now you can add affiliate terms, notes to affiliates, custom receipt info, and custom email receipt info. So right here, you could say, hey, this is my JVZoo JV page. Um, these are affiliate terms. Here are some resources that you can use. So it's just an affiliate page, essentially. Now, if you scroll back to the top, you can choose your checkout options. You can say, hey, this product, I want people to pay with PayPal or Stripe. Now, you're not gonna see these until you set up the payment profiles, which I'll talk about in a later video, but you can check which one you want. Usually we specify both. And then you got the JVZoo product library. This allows you to enter a description of the product and then choose a category of where your product is going to be listed within the product library. So that gives you an option to have more exposure if you want to. So you can go through here you could select, let's say, business finance entrepreneurship. And then, of course, put the description of your product. Next, we have make a dime sale. This is an option. You do not have to do this. What a dime sale is, is you can say, okay, we're going to start our pricing at $27. And then we're going to increase it by a dollar every, let's say 50 sales. So every 50 sales, it increases by a dollar. Now keep in mind that if you have a big, big launch, you might wanna increase it by like, let's say 50 cents for every 50 sales. So what a dime sell is, is it creates scarcity. It basically, the more sales you make, it increases the price. So you started at that price and then it just keeps increasing and increasing. So that's up to you. You can always tweak it as you go. Now, autoresponder integration, you have different autoresponders that you can integrate with. So as you can see here, you have SendLane, you have Market Hero, you have GetResponse, you have SendReach, you have Amnica Mail and Aweber API. Now, we recommend and we'll talk more about that later, but GetResponse is built in. So if you choose that, you enter your API key, you can go ahead and choose your list. Now, we'll show you more about that in the future videos because we're, we're gonna have a video specifically on integration of autoresponders. Then you have affiliate messaging integration. So you can integrate this, a Slack team. Slack is basically a chat system and you can add Fleep accounts. So this is 
basically gives you an ability to message and communicate with your affiliates. You can also have a customer messaging integration with Slack and Fleep. You can do that there. You can integrate it with a webinar if you want. So you can enter your GoToWebinar URL here. What this allows you to do is, let's say for example that you sell a product and you sell that product and that product is a live webinar. So you can integrate it right here and you would just enter the GoToWebinar URL there. Now, if you get lost and JVZoo decides to change things up, you'll always see these little blue things here that will tell you what they are. And of course, you can add the retargeting conversion pixels right here. External program integration, uh, you would use something like this if you were using a membership script. But we're not going to be messing with that at all right now. So that's basically it. As far as adding a product, the main things that you're going to need, and I'm going to do a quick recap right now, is your product name, currency, price, and then commission payout. If you have a subscription or multi multiple payments, you need to specify that here. And then leave quantity blank. You don't need that. Just enter the support URL. We normally don't enter this. Enter the sales page. Enter the thank you page, the return period, the commission amount, the approval affiliate level. Check out options. Definitely do this one here. You can do this one here to get more exposure. You could do dime cells, automatic autoresponder integration. And that's pretty much most of what you need for most products. So these other elements are additional optional elements. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.